Hey, what's up with a happy Roblox family? So happy, so, so, so happy. With mom, dad, Daisy, Molly, and the baby. Cute baby. <laughs> la, 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 la. <laughs> cute little baby. La, 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 la. <laughs> We're the Star Squad smile. Don't forget to hit subscribe. you like your new preschool well like i can't come in today uh, no it's uh, I, I i can't work tonight because i have my twins that's why i'm here picking them up from preschool uh, no i don't want to lose my job okay all right i'll come in if i can find a babysitter oh hi you must be a new mom too yeah i'm lorelei oh well i'm laura our names are almost the same <laughs> Yeah, I'm having a really bad day because my boss wants me to work a shift because one of the other employees got sick and I don't have anyone to watch my twins. Well, I'm sure we could have a play date with my daughter and you could come pick him up at my house later. Does that work? Oh my gosh, you do that for me? Yeah, that would work great. I don't think so, Mom. Yup, yup, yup. What do you mean, baby Kira? You love play dates. No, 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 no. I think a bad idea. No. No, I'll lie you. Baby Kira, what's got into you? I'm sorry, Lorelai. She probably just needs a diaper change or maybe a bottle. No, I don't need anything. I, I don't want to have play day with the twin. Baby Kira, don't be rude. Besides, I already told Lorelai, so just try to have fun, okay? All right, Lorelai, I'll text you my address and you can pick up the twins after you're done with your work shift. Thanks again so much, Laura. You really saved my life on this one. Or at least my job. No problem. I don't know why I think that mom. Those twins, they're evil. What? They're evil? <laughs> they're just babies like you. Don't be ridiculous. Here, baby Kira, take your passy and try to be very sweet to the twins. <coughs> See? Isn't everything all better now? I don't think so. Okay, Megan and Tegan, you guys can sit in the third row. Don't forget to buckle your seatbelts. I want to sit next to her because she smells bad. I don't smell bad. I smell like, um, uh, like my bath bubbles. Oh, yeah, she does smell really bad. Baby Kira smells like a piggy. <laughs> That's not funny. Quit teasing me, Megan and Tegan. Mommy! What, baby Kira? What's going on back there? They're being made to be all ready. Oh, my goodness. You little kids are something else. Just try to get along, okay, everyone? We're going to go to a super fun diner for dinner. Then we'll go to the park. Oh, boy. We'll go to Brookhaven Diner. Mega and Tika, you're going to love it. I'm so glad I got this mom bus. Turns out I really need it. <laughs> La 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 Ew, her singing's bad. I know, Tegan, her singing is really bad. Hey, don't talk about my mommy that way. Okay, girls, each of you can get something from the menu for dinner, and then you can each have a dessert. Oh, boy, I love dessert, Mommy. Thank you. You're welcome, baby Kira. Megan, Tegan, what would you like from the menu? Mama, mama, mama! Wait a minute, baby Kira. I just asked Megan and Tegan what they're having. Okay, I'll wait then. I'm gonna have an ice cream. And I'm gonna have some pie. No, girls, you have to eat something for dinner first. Baby Kira, what are you gonna have for dinner? Maybe the girls will have the same thing. I'm gonna have uh, a cheap burger and... Um, and how about a vegetable? You wanna pick a vegetable? A fruit salad? 
Yeah, you can have a cheeseburger and a fruit salad. Those are great choices. Okay, Megan and Tegan, what are you going to have? I'm gonna have, like I said, an ice cream. I I can have pie. I told you they were evil. You did this to me, dumb mom. Baby Kira, go sit in your chair, please. They aren't evil. They're just being a little naughty. Whoa, that's the biggest cheeseburger we ever saw in my whole life. Oh, wow. And the fruit salad looks good, too. I don't know why I had your robot. She's so annoying. She still talks like a baby, Megan. I know, Tegan, she does. No, what's this? I'm not eating this. Well, I ordered it for you since all you wanted to order was dessert. I got you some tacos and I got you some chicken and salad. Doesn't that look really good? No, I don't want to eat that. It looks gross. You're a bad babysitter. I told you they were evil, Mom. I told you. Baby Kira, sit down and eat your dinner. It's not nice to call Megan and Tegan evil. I think they are, though, Mom. I think they are. I'm not eating anything unless I have my apple pie. Um, okay, well, um, I guess you aren't eating anything then because you can't eat apple pie for dinner and you're going to get very hungry. I don't like you. You're rude. You're rude, lady. I want to go home. Now my mom can see how evil they really are. One hour later. Okay, girls, you only have about 30 minutes. It's starting to get dark, and then we're going to go back so your mom can pick you up. I'll get a swing on that swing. Oh, there's one for all of us. Whee! No, I want to swing on that swing. Get off of there. Don't push me. I'm Megan. Oh, Megan, you pushed me. I'm good, you. Well, you should have gotten off the swing. Oh my god, baby Kira, are you okay? Are you okay? I, I can't move my foot. I think I broke it. I did you Oh my gosh. Megan and Tegan, you guys are being extremely naughty. And now you pushed her off the swing and, and, and she's probably really hurt. Oh my gosh. You guys really are evil! <laughs> we are wondering if you are ever gonna figure it out, lady. Okay, I need to call your mom. And then I need to take baby Kira to the hospital. Mom, it really hurts! I need to leave you out of you. Well, scratch that. I think I'll have to take these girls to the hospital and call their mom from there. She's not picking up. Megan, Tegan, don't let me see you doing anything else naughty today. For reals. You girls are going to make me crazy. Now come on, baby Kira. Let's get you to the hospital and get that leg looked at. Megan, Tegan, keep up, please. We're coming. Jeepers. You're so bossy. <laughs> My leg really hurts. <laughs> Oh, baby Kira, I'm so, so sorry, honey. I love my Um, Megan, why don't you go and get baby Kira some water? Here, here's some money. You can get it out of the vending machine. It's just around the corner. Do you think you can do that? Yeah, sure. i do it. <laughs> Tegan, I dare you to get in that x-ray machine. No, Megan, I dare you to get in it. <laughs> I can't wait to see what all your bones look like. I bet you won't even have a brain. Oh, whatever, Megan. I will have a brain. <laughs> look at you. You said I dream machine, and I'm a big doctor that says, um, hmm, nope, you have no brain. What? Yes, I do have a brain. Nope, see, don't. I don't see a brain in there. Whatever. I definitely have one. Look at all these adorable little babies being so quiet, Megan. I know what you mean, Tegan. <laughs> Let's got some trouble. Let's have a rock concert. La, 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 la. What are you girls doing? I sent you for a bottle of water and you're wrecking the entire hospital. Ah! Go get the bottle of water right now. We got your water. And maybe now you can grow a new leg. 
Oh my gosh. You two really are the most evil identical twins ever. I need to call your mom and have her come pick you up right away. It just keeps ringing. Oh, wait, I think it's going to voicemail. Hi, you've reached Lorelei. I'm currently in Cancun and I'll be back next week. Can't believe I found someone to watch the kids. I needed this break so bad. Leave a message after the beep, but I probably won't check it till next week. Lorelei, you come get these evil twins right now! <laughs> Good morning, girls. I'm just about to make breakfast. Oh, boy, Mom, can we have pancakes? Sorry, Molly, I don't have the ingredients for pancakes this week. But, Mom, I really want pancakes. Come on, it's summer vacation. Yeah, that sounds really good, Mom, please. I'm sorry, girls. Uh, there, There's no pancake mix, and I don't have money for that this week, okay? Fine. Dizzy, why are you just staring at the empty TV screen with nothing on it? Well, I'm imagining that we had cable. What do you mean? We, we don't? No, girls, I'm sorry. Your dad and I are trying to save money, so um, we decided to take the cable out. There's still the news station, though. The news station? Who wants to watch that garbage, Mom? Oh, that's so boring. Wait a minute. Is that a leftover piece of pizza? Mine! I claim it! Mm, so good, Mom. You make the best homemade pizza ever. Molly, that's weird to eat that for breakfast. I think it's delicious. Mm. So, Daisy, would you like some oatmeal for breakfast? No, I'm not really even hungry. <sighs> I wish we could go with everyone else somewhere today. What do you mean? Where is everyone going? Oh, everyone in our school and their families are going to the water park in Brookhaven. Wow, that sounds like so much fun. Uh, how much does it cost? Uh, it's like $50 a person. Per person? Per family? That's right, Mom. So it would be about $200 for us to go. $200? What's the school crazy? We can't afford that. Oh, Mom. Come on. Can't we go, please? You must have a little bit in your, um, in your wallet or something, right? I only have like $3, and I have to use that for gas money to get to, to my job, girls. Like, I don't have $200 to take you to the water park. This is the most terrible summer ever. It's just, I hate being poor. I hate it. <laughs> Ugh, I feel like a horrible mom. I wish I could afford to take you girls to the water park. Molly, come here, please. What? I'm pouting in my room. What do you want? No, I'm going to pout in the bathroom. Molly, come out here, please. What? You made Mom feel really sad. I'm really sorry, girls, that I can't give you more things. Like, you know, expensive tickets to water parks and, and beautiful clothes. But I love you more than anything. And I always make sure you have a roof over your head. Even if it leaks a little. And, and, and then food in your belly. Even though it's not always exactly what you want. I always make sure that you know that I love you so much. And I hope someday you'll know that that's enough. I didn't want to tell you girls this. I wanted it to be a surprise. But since you're so sad about the water park, I guess I'll tell you now. We're going to Disney? Whoa, Mom, this is amazing. Molly, she didn't say we were going to Disney. Ay, ay, ay. No, your dad and I managed to save up to take you girls to the ice cream shop. Wait, what? That's all we're doing all summer? Ugh, I knew you wouldn't be very impressed. It's all we can afford, girls. We're only getting ice cream one time this summer. Ugh, oh, working three jobs is just killing me. Ugh, oh, I've been working on cutting down all these trees to make lumber all day. And it's exhausting. Well, I guess now's the perfect time to get that ice cream, Dad, since you look really hot. I am. It's 100 degrees outside. Wait, you told the girls about our surprise trip? Well, I had to. They wanted to go to the water park, and we can't afford to send them, even though they're the only ones at school that aren't going to be able to go. Oh, we failed as parents. No, you didn't. We're happy that we get to eat ice cream, right, Daisy? Yeah, I'm going to get my favorite. But only one scoop. It's all we can afford. Okay, well, let's get going, guys. 
Come on, girls, get in. Dad, are you sure you don't just want to walk? I mean, your car has a habit of actually not getting us anywhere, ever. It's always breaking down. Yeah, and it smells like a rotten egg fart. <laughs> oh, it doesn't smell that bad. Yes, it does, Dad. It literally smells like a giant fart. What's wrong with your car? Uh, the girls do have a point, honey. It does smell pretty bad. Well, hopefully it just gets us there. That's all I care about. Uh, Dad? I smell something really funny. Oh, sorry. That was me. <laughs> Leftover pizza. Does it to me every time. Oh, maybe it wasn't your car that smelled like a rotten egg fart. Maybe it was Molly this whole time. Ew, Molly. What? What? We have money to go through the car wash? No. It's free car wash day. We need to take care of that smell. But, Dad, we're... Ah, we're getting soaked! Dad! Well, you're the one that I think is making it smell like a rotten egg fart, so, Molly, you need a bath. We could all use a bath. The water's not running at the house real well these days. Ah! <laughs> I got soap in my hair! I think that's kind of the point, Dad. <laughs> not only does the car get washed, we do too! Free baths for everyone! Now that we're all clean and smell good, we can go into the ice cream shop. I can't believe it! The car actually made it this time. <laughs> Let's see, what kind of flavors do I want? Remember, Molly, just one scoop. It's all we can afford. Oh, well, I'm definitely getting my favorite mint chocolate chip. Mm, that's so good. So good. Mm. Whoa, who's that? They're pulling up in a limo, Daisy. Whoa, they look so rich. I bet they're the rip richest people in all of Brookhaven. Ooh, I'm going to get a scoop of everything. Then I'm going to go to the Louis Vuitton store and buy five new purses. Oh, honey. <laughs> Slow down with all this spending of our money. Just kidding. We're billionaires. You can have anything you want. Whatever makes your heart happy. Oh, dear. You're so sweet. Wow. Wonder what it's like to be that rich. Yeah, Molly, me too. I can see it now. This is gonna be the perfect spot for my new mansion. Let's see, which mansion do I want? I am so rich, I can have anyone I every anyone I want, really. Um, it just depends on the the one I think is the cutest. Oh, MG, this one's really cool. This is the one I'm gonna have in Brookhaven, but I'm also gonna have one in Hawaii. And I'm going to have one in Malibu, so this is just my Brookhaven one. Wow. Look at my new house. It's amazing. I'm so rich that I had an architect build this house completely off center. Look at it. <laughs> it's like I'm falling down no matter where I am in the house. This house cost me $4 million. It was worth every, every penny. Sometimes I just lay money down as my pillow. And I, I sleep on it because that's how rich I am. Like, I can make money into pillows. Sometimes I even take a bath in money. I'm so rich. I'm so rich. Stacks of cash. Stacks of cash. I got me stacks of cash. I think I'm going to go buy a fancy sports car, like, right now. What kind of sports car would I want? I could buy a school bus. Yeah, I'm going to buy a school bus and a sports car because that's kind of funny. Ooh, look at this. I really like this. Okay, I'm buying that. It's like not letting me. Okay, fine. I'll try this sports car then. This one's better than that pink one anyway. Oh, yeah. Look at my new car. Oh, I'm so rich. It's just like the best thing in the world. Ah, time to go to the beach. Ah, as soon as I learn how to drive. Whoa, I totally ran into my new house. Oh, well, I'll just buy a new garage if I ruin this one. Ah, why won't the wheel turn? Obviously, I need to hire a driver. I can do that. I'm rich, you know. I'll also hire a chef, and I'll hire, I'll hire everything. I'll hire a housekeeper. And when you're rich, you can do whatever you want. You can sit on the beach all day, just counting your money and feeling the sunshine on your face. <sighs> and guess what? You never have to go to school ever again. Whoa, 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 Molly. What are you talking about? What do you mean what am I talking about? The rich have the best life ever. 
They still have to go to school, Molly, whether you're rich or not. Nope. Mm. If I had all the money in the world, no more school for me. Molly, it's against the law to not go to school. You have to go to school. Okay, but the teachers would work for me. That means no more detention. Yeah, if you say so, Molly. Molly, would you really want to be rich? Well, yeah, wouldn't be ri being rich be awesome? Yeah, but you'd have different parents and a different sister and everything. Mm, yeah, I guess that's true. So, would you still want to be rich? Well, I sure would miss my mom and my dad. Hey, where's mom? Sorry, I had to go put another quarter in the parking meter. Ugh, oh, it was the last quarter I had to. Well, maybe I can find another one under the couch cushion. <laughs> maybe we could save up and bring the girls back to the ice cream shop one other time this summer. That would be so nice. As much as being rich would be amazing, I sure would miss my mom and dad and sister. Really, Molly? You, you wouldn't, you wouldn't want to be rich? Nah, not if I couldn't be rich with you guys. And you guys, well, are poor. So I'm going to stay being a family with you guys. Oh, Molly, that's amazing. And when I grow up, I'm going to do something awesome, like be a doctor, or a rocket scientist or something. And I'm going to make sure that I buy us all a really nice house. Oh, Molly, you don't have to do that. But you're such a sweetheart for saying it. Yeah, no money can buy an amazing family. And mine sure does love me a whole lot. Thirteen years ago. So you guys excited about uh, going to look at a new house? New? This is our first house, our starter home. We've never owned a house before. Yup, it's always been apartments. Well, I'm glad that I can be your realtor then. Now, the first house I want to show you is this beautiful home right here. Oh wait, Dan, you drove past it. Okay, there you go. All right, um, we'll just we'll just park right here. It's it's vacant. There's nobody in it. Um, and uh, let me just open the lockbox and I'll show you guys in. All right, come on in, guys. This place has you guys written. Guys, are you coming in? Sorry, I'm just checking the foundation and stuff and making sure everything's okay. Trust me, Dan, this house is in tip-top shape. Wow, it's like a palace. Yeah, it is really nice, honey. So what's the price tag on this house? Oh, don't worry about the price tag. I'm worried about the price tag. I mean... Uh, I don't even know if we can afford this place. Oh, but honey, I love it. Well, don't fall in love with it until we hear the price. This one is 400000 What? 400000 I can't afford that. I just became a cop, hon. I can't afford that on a cop's salary. How about you take us to the next one? Really? I'm kind of sad. I, I like this one. Honey, we can't afford it. I'm sorry. All right. Show us to the next one. Get a load of this pad! Wow, it's very modern. We're not really that modern when it comes to our tastes. But honey, look at this. This is great. I could have my pool table over there and... Oh my gosh, this is so cool. We can even get a hot tub. Too late. This one already has a hot tub. Come on in and I'll show you around. Oh, maybe they pulled the hot tub out. But no worries. We can negotiate that. Wow. This house is fabulous! I know, right, Dan? And it could be yours for the small price tag of $500,000. $500,000? We don't have that kind of money. Honey, we have to have that kind of money. This house is amazing. You didn't have enough for the $400,000 house. We definitely don't have enough for the $500,000 house. Well, I do have one more house I could show you guys. It's probably a bit more in your budget. All right, well, let's see it. I'm hopeful that it'll be the house for us. Well, here it is. What do you think, Dan and Laura? I think it's a dump. Yeah, this place needs a ton of work. What's that smell? Oh, that's just the rat family that's moved in there. But don't worry, you can evict them. Ew, gross. How much is it? Well, that's just the best part. The person who lived here, they abandoned the place, so... It's yours if you want to just pay the taxes on it. How much are the taxes? One hundred dollars. Whoa, that sounds like a great deal. Well, it is! Do you want it? Yeah, we'll fix it up, Laura, and we'll make it our own. 
Well, Dan, we're going to have to because we're, um, having a baby. What? Are you pregnant? I am, Dan, for a little girl. Oh my gosh! I'm gonna be a dad! We've built this house from the ground up. Yeah, and it looks a thousand times better, don't you think? It's beautiful. Daisy, catch this soccer ball! Come on, it'll be fun! Molly, no playing with your soccer ball inside! Why not? It's such a big house. We can, we can do this, Mom. No, Molly, your dad and I worked hard to fix this place up and make the floors, like, really nice and stuff. Dan, can you please tell your daughter to not throw or kick her soccer ball in the house? Molly, you're going to break a window. Okay, all right, fine. I won't play soccer in the house. Well, I have to get going because I, I have dance class. Um, but, Dad, will you watch the rest of this movie when I get back? Sure, I'll wait till you get back, Daisy. Have fun at dance class. Bye! Oh, the annoying sister is gone. Mom, can I have a snack, please, 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 also please? Sure, Molly, but make it a healthy one. Oh, man, a healthy snack. Molly, eating a healthy snack once in a while won't kill you, you know. Well, if I had a healthy snack, mm, I have to eat two because they never make me feel as full as like a piece of pizza. Fine, you can eat an apple and a banana. All right, mm, I'm doing that because these, mm, these don't fill me up, but they're, they're kind of good, I have to admit. See? Healthy food is good for you. Ha ha ha. I win. Didn't say it wasn't good for me. I said I just didn't want to eat it. Oh, Molly. Oh, somebody's at the door. Molly, you want to get the door? No, Dad. You want to get the door. Okay, fine. I was going to be lazy on the couch, but who's that guy? Hello. I was wondering if I could come in, please. Considering this is my house. What? This isn't your house. Whoa, whoa, whoa! What do you mean this is your house? Actually, this is my house. You see, I have the deed right here. What's a deed, Dad? It's a receipt for buying a house, Molly. How do you have the deed to my house? Oh, no! Don't tell me that the house wasn't actually abandoned 13 years ago! Wait, what? I'm so confused right now. What's going on? Did you guys buy this house? No, Molly, we didn't buy it. We just sort of moved in. The realtor said we could, as long as we paid for the taxes. Well, actually, here's your hundred dollars back. I'm gonna pay you back for those taxes, but this is my house. Um, no, your house was the shack that was on this land. Uh, this is our house that we rebuilt here, uh, and took my wife a, a lot and I a lot of hard work. Yeah, you you can't own this house. Actually, guys, um, according to this deed receipt. He can. We have exactly one hour to pack our stuff. Well, I'm going to court over this. You can't just take our house. Um, Dad, it's not our house. It's this guy's. What's your name? Mr. Jethro. Mr. Jethro, please. Our family lives here. Well, I got ten kids and they need a place to live. So it's my house now. Oh, no. Molly, go pack your stuff. We have to leave. Our home. The place your father and I worked at so hard. Get off our couch! That's our couch! Not anymore! Anything that's in this house is mine! Unless you can pack it in an hour. Ha! Huh. Guys, we have to try to pack as fast as we can. Come on! Let's pack all our stuff! You haven't heard the end of this, Mr. Jim Bob Jethro! Oh, okay, if you say so, Dan, but... This here is my house. Now I gotta call my wife and kids and tell them that they can move in. We don't have to live in the camper van anymore. Can't believe I'm losing my house. We're being evicted from our own home. <laughs> well, it's a good thing I saved this tent from our last camping trip. We live in a tent now? But but what about our beautiful house with the hot tub and the and the and the, all the other things! Well, honey, at least we're all together, even if we do live in a tent. This isn't the last of this. I, I, I'm gonna fight this in court, and we're gonna get our house back! If it's the last thing I do. Oh, I hope so, Dad. Should somebody call Daisy and tell her that we live in a tent now? Yeah. Do you want to, Molly? Um, yeah, okay. Hi, this is Daisy! I'm having the best time of my life at dance! 
Who is this? Daisy, it's your sister. Oh, hi, Molly. What? Why do you sound so sad? What's wrong? Um, so this guy came with a deed to our house. What do you mean? What are you talking about? It's like a receipt. You know, mom and dad never bought our house. They just moved in. What? The realtor said that the person abandoned it so they could just have our house. Well, they couldn't. And now we live in a tent behind the motel in Brookhaven. What? Is this a prank, Molly? Because it's not funny. No, just meet us behind the hotel after your dance class. You'll see it's true. What is going on? This is not a funny prank. I'm not leaving you. Well, it's just till we can go to court, Daisy. I I'm going to fight this. I can't believe it. I live in a tent. Oh, my goodness. I I'm homeless. We all are, but at least we're together. The Acker family cannot be held down. Turn your frowns upside down. I don't want to turn my frown upside down. I feel sad. Molly, we have to be positive. We're going to get out of this together. <laughs> that adorable raccoon <laughs> molly daisy it's time to do your homework mom i'm already doing my homework i'm doing my homework i'm home and it's really hard work to watch this adorable raccoon molly don't be ridiculous it's 5 30 you know what time it is time to eat a snack molly no dinner's gonna be in an hour try to get your homework done ahead of time mom why do i have to do homework i just got home from doing work at school all day we do school work i know but your homework is to practice what you learn during the day i don't want to practice it i just want to chill i worked hard today yeah snowing in class you worked real hard daisy shh girls i would like you to go to your rooms and get your homework done please okay mom um, i'm just finishing up this one little report that i'm doing on puppies and kittens she said you have to go to your room, Daisy. Molly, don't be rude to your sister. I'll try, but she's easy to be rude to. Molly! Sorry. <laughs> All right, Molly. Let's get started on this science homework. Ooh, the question we have to write a report on for science is, how are rainbows made? How are rainbows made? How am I supposed to know? Um, did you do the reading, Molly? No, but I can tell you exactly how rainbows are made. A beautiful white unicorn with a gold horn flies across the sky. And as she does, she lets out a giant fart. And it's the color of all the rainbows. That's how rainbows are made. Molly, I don't know how you became my sister, but I still can't understand how we're in the same family. If you give that answer, you're going to fail. I don't make up the rules. I, 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 I don't, I don't understand exactly why, you know, unicorns fart rainbows, but they do. Molly, get serious about your homework. You know that's not the answer. All right, all right. Google, how are rainbows made? When sunlight hits a rain droplet, some of the light is reflected. The electromagnetic, electromagnetic spectrum is made of light with many different wavelengths and each is reflected at a different angle thus spectrum is separated producing a rainbow done molly did you just google your homework <gasps> you cheated i'm telling you better not tattle on me or i'll tell everyone you have a crush on isaiah <gasps> you wouldn't tell molly i would <laughs> For that matter, I'll announce it over the loudspeaker tomorrow morning. Molly! But you weren't supposed to Google it. That's sort of like cheating. You had to do the reading. I did do the reading on Google. I did your, I got your, 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 your. Not now, baby Kira. I have to talk to your older sister about being a cheater, cheater, pumpkin eater. Pumpkin eater? Mm, I love pumpkins. Never met a pumpkin I didn't like. Molly, this is serious. I know, but that's what Google is there for, to answer all your questions. It is not, Molly. Why do you fight and don't fight? This is grown-up sister stuff, baby Kira. Go back downstairs with Mom. Okay. Bye. Okay, Molly. If you don't Google that ever again um, to do your homework, 
and you don't tell about Isaiah, then I won't tell Mom. Deal! Ha <laughs> ha Now I'm going to get in the hot tub. Ah, now this is the life. Ah. Molly, what are you doing? You're supposed to be doing your homework. Did it already? Wait, you completed it before Daisy? Are you sure you actually did your homework? I did! Do you want to see my tablet so I can prove it to you? No, Molly, I'll believe you. I'm really proud that you got your homework done on time. Thanks, Mom! Did you do a good job on it? You betcha! I can guarantee I'm going to get an A+. All right, Molly. Well, good job. I did your blah blah, Mommy. Uh-huh. What is it, baby Kira? I'm getting the last of dinner ready, honey. Molly cheated. What? Molly cheated? What are you talking about? Uh, I got to tell you, I saw Molly and Daisy talking and Molly cheated. Oh, on what? A whole homework. Oh, Molly. La, 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 la. I feel like a piece of pasta boiling in the water. <laughs> Molly, you are grounded. What? Is this some sort of prank? Why am I grounded? Because, Molly, you cheated. Who, me? Not me. What are you talking about, Mom? I have no idea what you're talking about. On your homework, Molly, you cheated. Who? What? Uh, Daisy! I'm telling everyone that you love Isaiah. What? Why? I, 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 I. I don't care who told it's time for dinner. Except for you, Molly. You can eat your dinner in the corner. And you're grounded for an entire week. What? Oh my gosh, Daisy, you traitor! Ugh, my sister is so annoying. Can't believe I've been exiled to the corner to eat my dinner. I feel like such a prisoner. Oh, I can't believe Daisy told on me. Mm. My dinner's pretty good, though. I thought that's what Google was there for. Ugh, just because I used Google to help do my homework, at least I did my homework. Molly, can you talk to yourself a little quieter, please? Fine. Molly, I swear, I I didn't tattle on you. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm sure you didn't. You just don't want me to get on the loudspeaker tomorrow and tell everybody that you love Isaiah. But guess what? I'm going to. Molly, please don't. I didn't tattle on you, even though it was wrong. The only reason I didn't was because you promised you wouldn't do it again. Well, if you didn't tattle on me, who did? I don't know. Maybe a bad 3 a.m. ghost. What 3 a.m. ghost? Molly, remember? I'll show you on my on my laptop. I caught it at 3 a.m. on my security cameras. Okay, a ghost didn't tattle on me, Daisy. No, trust me. Oh my gosh! There was a ghost in here! Holy guacamole! A creepy ghost told on me! No, it wasn't the ghost I tattled on you. <laughs> Wait, what? My sweet little innocent toddler baby sister told on me? I fight. You do the crime, you do the time. <laughs> you grounded. Oh, no! Don't worry, Molly. We'll bring you snacks in, in prison. Prison? What do, you, what do you mean? Well, yeah, it's going to be pretty rough for you for the next week. Nobody knows the trouble I've seen. I'm going to go crazy. I'm going to go crazy. I have to get out of, I have to get out of here. Uh, I don't want to be grounded anymore. I don't want to be grounded. Let me out. Let me out. Molly, um, you're being a little bit dramatic. That's not how being grounded will work. Well, I'm sure it'll feel like it. It may, Molly, it may. But a week won't be the rest of your life. And next time, don't use Google to do your homework. Oh! Mmm, what's for lunch? I'm starving. Ooh, pizza. Reese cups. Mmm, oh, there's lots of delicious stuff in here. I want to get it out all over the counter and see exactly what I want to eat today. Molly, did you just make this big mess everywhere? I'm trying to clean the house. Sorry, Mom. I'm just looking for a snack I want to eat. Well, why did you have to pull everything out of the fridge in order to see what you wanted to eat? Um, because my eyes are as big as my stomach. 
Molly, please pick it all up. I'm trying to vacuum. This house is a mess. Since I'm the only one that seems to want to vacuum, I can put it away as soon as I, um, as soon as I mm, pick what I want to eat. Molly, you're making a huge mess. Look, now there's stuff on that counter. Ugh. Okay, I'll just go vacuum somewhere else. Um, honey, do you think you could take care of the laundry and fold it? Honey, you're right in front of this TV show. I love this show. Honey, it's a puppy and a kitten. Since when do you like shows about puppies and kittens? Since right now. This is adorable. I'm sorry, honey. I can't fold the laundry right now. I gotta watch this. Fine, I guess I'll do it. Ugh, does anyone want to help me around here at all? Thanks for moving out of the way. Oh my gosh, this is such a cute episode. Daisy, since I vacuumed and did all this laundry, do you think you could um, do the dishes since it's your turn, please? Sorry, Mom. I just finished this amazing report on puppies, and now I need to go outside and get some fresh air. See you later. Daisy, it's your turn to do the dishes. When does Mom get a break? When do I get a break? From cleaning and doing everyone's laundry and, and dishes, and it's not fair. Whoa, Mom, what's wrong with you? I, I, I just, I feel like I need a break. <laughs> Mom, you should know better. Moms don't get breaks. Oh my gosh, I, 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 I don't even know what to say. Well, um, you probably don't have a lot to say because you got to go fold all that laundry. Fine, just, 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 just don't even talk to me. Okay, Mom, well, Mom? Uh, <laughs> she probably had to go outside and um, plant some new flowers or something. She's always doing some sort of work. Molly, can you keep it down over there? I'm trying to watch this puppy and kitten episode. Ooh, this looks amazing. I'll watch it too. Ah, life is good. Ah, my stomach's starting to growl. What time is it? Whoa, six o'clock? We were supposed to have dinner a half an hour ago. No wonder my stomach's growling. Honey, when's dinner? No answer. Hmm. I wonder what's gotten into your mother. I don't know. I'll go check. She's probably making a huge Thanksgiving dinner for us, even though it's not even Thanksgiving. Mom's cool like that. Mom? Mom? Dinner's not even started. Where's Mom? What? What do you mean, where's Mom? She's in the kitchen making a dinner. No, she's not. She's not in there. Hmm. Maybe she ordered us a pizza or something. She's probably up still folding laundry. Mom? Are you scrubbing the toilet? No? Ew, the toilet's gross. It hasn't even gotten scrubbed yet. Maybe she's in my room. Mom? Maybe she's in baby Kira's room. Oh, yeah. Baby Kira's spending the day with Grandma. That's right. I forgot about that. Um, no. She's not in baby Kira's room. She's nowhere up here. Where could she be? Guys, Mom is nowhere in the house. Well, go look outside. She's probably out there. Mom! Wait, is that a note down there? What? What's that say? It's a letter from Mom. Dear family, I'm tired of doing it all without any help. I can't do this anymore where I never get a break. So I'm taking one. I've run away. Run away? But, 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 but well, who will do the laundry? Who will vacuum? Who will make us turkey dinner? Dad, Ma, uh, Dad, Ma, Ma, Mom, Mom ran away. What? Quit your pranking, Molly. That's rude. No, read this letter. Dear family. What? She, she, she ran away? Did you make this letter up? No, Dad. It's in Mom's handwriting. Look. But, but who will make our dinner and, and, and vacuum and... What are you guys yelling about? Mom ran away. Oh. My. Gosh. Wow, this is a really good episode. Daisy, we have bigger fish to fry than kittens and puppies. What? That didn't make sense. Okay, I, I'm just saying, we have to, we have to, um, we have to figure out how to get mom back. Who's going to do all these chores? Molly, I think that's sort of mom's point. She doesn't want to have to do them all by herself, and she probably won't come back unless we help. Help? But I only watch puppies and kittens. Well, think about it, Dad. When does mom get to watch puppy and kittens? Oh, wow. I think maybe we've been taking a little advantage of your mom doing all the chores for us. What? Nah. Mom loves doing all that stuff. Uh, Molly, according to this note, not really. 
Okay, well, let me just try to call her and work this all out. I'm sure it's a big misunderstanding. It's just ringing. And ringing. And ringing. She's not going to pick up. Hi, you've reached Laura or mom. <laughs> and I can't come to the phone because I've run away from my responsibilities. So no one wants to help me. And I don't feel like picking up. You can leave me a message, though. Mom, it's Molly. And, um... This is just a big misunderstanding, right? Right? Mom, who's going to do all the chores if you've run away? Y you have to come back. Okay. Call me back. Bye. I'm sure she'll call me back, right? I don't think she's coming back. She's left us here with all these chores. Well, maybe we can just not do the chores. What? We have to do the chores. I mean, my stomach is growling. Okay, well, Dad, you're another grown-up. You, you make the food. What? I don't know how to make food. Well, you better go try. All right, well, I guess there's a first time for everything. Maybe I could, like, make some pizza or some turkey or... I don't know. I'll just see what's in the fridge and throw it all together in a pot. Dad, you can't throw turkey and pizza in a pot and boil it. That will be gross. Okay, Daisy, who made you, boss? I didn't even tell you what to do yet. Well, you were going to... Of course I was going to. I'm the older sister, so I get to boss you around. No, you don't, Molly. You don't get to boss me around. Girls, just do some chores, please. All right, I'll vacuum. You do the laundry. Okay, Molly. I guess I can do the laundry. I guess vacuuming isn't so bad. I really miss my mom, though. I didn't realize how much work she actually did around here. Now I feel kind of bad leaving it all up to her. Uh, uh, this is a lot of work. Uh, Dad, how's dinner going? Actually, I don't think I did too bad. Wow. Actually, Dad, I think you did pretty good. Daisy, how's dishes going? Oh, wait, no, you're not doing the dishes. You're doing the laundry. Do not put dishes into the washing machine. Duh, Molly, I know that. Well, dinner's ready, Daisy, as soon as you put that in the wash. Dad, this looks scrumptious. Mm, mm. Ew! This tastes gross. What is this? Um, dog food? Dog food? Dad, you can't feed us dog food. But it said real beef. Ew, gross. Daisy, don't eat it. Well, actually, Daisy, you should eat that. It's delicious. Molly, you're not going to try to trick me into eating dog food. Come on, guys. Let's just go to bed. Hopefully, we'll figure something out in the morning. Sounds good to me. I'm not really hungry anymore anyway. Mom? Mom? Mom, are you back yet? Mom? Oh, she didn't come back. Oh, Mom. I'm going to call her. Leave a message after the beep. Beep. Mom, it's Molly, and I just want to say that we really miss you. Not just because you do all the chores, but because we love you. You're our mom, and I hope you come home. I vacuumed. Daisy did the laundry and, well, Dad tried to feed us dog food because he's terrible at cooking, but he tried. We promise from now on, we'll try to help more, okay? We're sorry that we didn't appreciate you. I love you. Bye. I love you too, Molly. Mom? Mom! Oh my gosh, I'm so happy to see you, Mom! Hey, Molly. I'm really proud of you guys for trying to help with the chores and understanding where I'm coming from. Mom, I missed you so, so much. <laughs> I really did miss you. Oh, I missed you girls so much too. I'm sorry I ran out. I just felt like I didn't get any help or any break. We promise, Mom, that we're going to help more often. What do you help with? need help with today? Well, I sort of need help um, dusting and... Sorry, you can't do that. I got to go outside and play. Molly... Just kidding. <laughs> oh, I didn't sleep at all last night. Wait, is my wife back? Oh, honey, I missed you. I stink at cooking. I'm sorry. It's all right, honey. You can help me in other ways. Oh, wow. You didn't even shave today. That's because I didn't get a wink of sleep. I'm not used to sleeping without you in my room. Oh, I missed you all too. Now, come on. Let's go to grandma's house and pick up baby Kira. Mom, don't ever leave again, okay? Okay. As long as you guys promise to not take advantage of me. We promise! Hey, two-year-old.
fans, don't forget to use our Toy Heroes star code to purchase your Robux on Roblox. Our star code is Toy Heroes. Guys, it would be so awesome if you would support us when you buy your Robux by entering in that code, Toy Heroes. I am fully energized. <laughs> Whoa, the sun's not even up yet. Can't even believe it. I never wake up this early. But guess what? Today's the first day of summer. I'm so excited because summer vacation is awesome. I wonder if my whole family is as excited as I am about summer vacation. It's going to be so cool. Mom? Mom, what's for breakfast? Mom? Mom? Where's mom? Dad's probably watching something boring like the news. Dad? Huh, maybe they're in the hot tub. It is the first day of summer. Where is everybody? Okay, they're probably out in the pool. Because it's the first day of summer vacation. Who does not want to be in the pool on the first day of summer vacation? Why is it raining on this first day of summer vacation? This isn't a good sign. Plus, my parents have disappeared. My mom's always up, like, making breakfast, and Dad's like, Hey, Molly, what are you doing right now? And I'm like, uh, why are you waking me up so early? And he says, quit talking like a zombie, and I say, I am a zombie. I have to talk like one, Dad. Maybe they're still in their room. Knock, knock, Mom! Dad! Knock, knock, Mom! Dad! Whoa, it's really dark in here. Mom? Dad? Why are my parents still sleeping? Maybe I should turn on the TV. Whoa, Dad's sleeping through the news. Mom, Mom, wake up! Mom, Mom, Dad, Dad, Mom, Mom, Dad, Dad! Molly, what are you doing? Stop jumping on the bed! Are you crazy? Um... No, are you crazy? You didn't get out of bed and make breakfast. You always make breakfast. Where's my mom? What have you done with her? Molly, I'm still your mom, except for today's the first day of summer vacation. Uh-huh. Yeah, I know. I'm excited about it. Why are you awake so early, Molly? The sun isn't even up yet. Because I'm excited about it being summer vacation. Molly, you can't get up early a single day for school, but you can wake up this early... When you don't have school? Yep. I don't believe you, Molly. Okay, well, I guess Mom's not making me any breakfast. Dad! 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 Molly, why are you saying my name over and over again before I have had any coffee? Dad! 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 Molly, stop. Just stop. Okay, but I'm really excited. It's summer vacation. Can I go outside and play? Molly, it's too early to go outside and play. The sun isn't even up yet. Why don't you go read a book or something? Oh, okay. Well, I'll go see if I can bug Daisy. Sounds like a great idea. <sighs> Daisy! Oh, Daisy! Daisy, you're faking that you're sleeping. What are you doing? I am enjoying my first day of summer vacation without an annoying sister. Is that why you were faking that you were sleeping? Uh-huh, that's exactly why. Except for you figured it out. Molly, the sun isn't even up yet. Why are you up? Because it's the first day of summer vacation. Okay, Molly, so? So? It's exciting! Yeah, it's exciting, but I'm going to miss school. What? You're going to miss school? Are you crazy? Why are you playing that game in the dark? Because I did want you to know I was awake. That's why. Oh, come on, Daisy. Can I play? 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 Molly! Quit being so annoying. Jeez. Let's go out and go swimming in the pool. Did you ask, Mom? No. Did you ask... Did I ask Dad, though? Yeah, I asked Dad. 
What did he say? He said it's too early. Don't go outside. But we can't go out there, Molly. Okay, well, maybe we can play Brightly Colored Unicorn. That would be fun. Or watch it on TV. That would be cool, too. Yeah, let's watch it on TV. The Brightly Colored Unicorn. The Brightly Colored Unicorn. Brightly Colored Unicorn. The Brightly Colored Unicorn. My girls wake up so early during summer vacation. I can barely even get them out of bed when it's the school year. But no, when it's summer vacation, we have to wake up at 5.30 in the morning. Oh, yeah, I know. Huh. They wake up so early. Hey, girls, time for me to watch the news. Uh, Dad, we were here first. So, I'm the one that owns the house. I can watch the news if I want. Dad, we're watching the brightly colored unicorn. Okay, fine. Boring. I'm out of here. Mom, what are you making? Oh, just something a little special for the first day of summer vacation. Great, I'm starving. Woo, pancakes and eggs and bacon, huh, Mom? Well, I haven't made any pancakes yet. Daisy, come on, food. Fine, Molly. I'll be there in a minute. I'm watching the news. <laughs> the news? What are you, an old person? Don't watch the news. That's boring. Hmm. Mom. Yes, Molly? That was delicious. Bring on the pancakes. Ooh, what's for breakfast? Bacon and eggs? Dad looks delicious. Even a zombie like me can appreciate such an amazing breakfast. Yeah, at least we don't need brains. Girls, stop talking about brains. It's too early for that. But we're zombies. We should talk about brains. Brains, 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 brains. Molly, don't be rude at the table, please. Mmm, delicious. Eggs and bacon, one of my favorites. I can't wait till the sun comes up so we can go outside and play. I do, right, Molly? That would be awesome. Girls, there's only two times of year that you wake up this early. What are they, Mom? What are they? The first day of summer vacation and Christmas. Yeah, because Santa stays up really late. And he leaves us all presents, and I want to get the first ones. Molly, I want the first presents. Too bad. Mmm. These are delicious. They really are, dear. Aren't you going to eat any? Uh, it's a little too early for me. Ugh. Uh, you can't eat early in the morning, Mom. Not really, girls. But I guess I should try to eat a little something. Yeah, you probably should. We're going to have a busy day ahead of us. Oh, girls, I have to work today. What? No! It's the first day of summer vacation, Mom! Well, your mom and I are grown-ups, so we still have to go to work. No! Don't worry, girls. I'm going to work from home today, so you girls have to amuse yourselves. Oh, so Grandma's not going to come babysit us? No, Grandma's not coming today. I'll be home. But you girls need to stay out of mischief, okay? I've got a lot of work to get done. That's right, girls. Don't be getting in your mom's way while she's trying to do work. Okay, fine. Do, do, do. Gonna paint this. What else can I paint? There's a unicorn. What else should I paint? Uh, wow. There's a lot of things you can paint on here. A lot of them I don't like, though. Like, creepy. What's that? That's creepy. Molly, 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 Molly. Daisy, go away. I'm trying to paint something right now. Molly, 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 Molly. Daisy. Molly, Molly, Molly. Daisy, are you painting that right now? Daisy, I was painting that. Fine, I'll play on my computer then. Ooh, what do I want to do? I want to play Blacksborn! Dun, 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 Molly, I want to play, I want to play, I want to play. Daisy, are you stepping on my computer right now? Oh my gosh, I can't believe I have to spend the entire summer with you. Girls, please get along. I have a lot of work to do. But mom, Daisy's stepping on my laptop. I am not. Yes, you are, Daisy. Girls, behave yourself. I'll see you after work. Bye, Dad. Bye, Dad. Oh, I died. See what you made me do, Daisy? I didn't do that, Molly. Yes, you did, Daisy. 
Oh, I can't believe I'm stuck with you for the whole summer. The feeling is mutual, Marley. Ugh, oh, sisters. Yes, yeah, sisters. Daisy, why'd you turn off the light? <laughs> Daisy, I'm gonna get you. Ugh, Daisy! As soon as I get past my chair. Fine, now I'm just gonna turn my light on and hide on her. Maybe she'll never find me now. <laughs> ah, you have to come in the bathroom to get some peace and quiet from your sister. Right there, Daisy. I ran right into you. Molly, Molly, Molly. I got you! What are you going to do about it, Molly? I'm going to tell. Mom! Oh, girls. Oh, the sun hasn't even come up on your first day of summer vacation. And you're already fighting? Enough, please. Girls, we have a very long summer ahead of us. You girls need to get along. Okay, Mom. I'll try harder. Can I get in the hot tub? Sure, Molly. Go right ahead. Yeah! done dealing with my sister for this morning until it gets nice out and I can go in the pool. Ah, that is so relaxing. Bring on summer vacation. Ah, the bubbles are amazing. I'm so glad we got this hot tub. It's the best ever. Molly, 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 Daisy! Oh, I'm closing my eyes. I'm just ignoring you're not even here, Daisy. But I am you, Molly. No, you're not, Daisy. You're not here. Molly, I'm gonna do some summer cleaning. What? Are you crazy? No, I think it'll be kind of fun. Okay, well, you have fun with that, Daisy. Ah, this is the life. My sister does all the cleaning while I sit on the couch. Yeah, right, Molly. You're going to have to do chores, too. And I'm not doing chores if you're not doing any chores. Ding, ding, ding. Ding, ding, ding. Ding, 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 ding. Daisy, why are you playing a Christmas song? Because I feel like it. Jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. Oh, my gosh. I need a pair of earplugs. Mom? Mom? What's up, Molly? I'm just watching the news before I get to work. Ugh, Daisy is annoying me so bad. Ugh, you girls just can't seem to get along, can you? I might have to send you to summer school. What? Summer school? Uh, no, thank you. Okay, well, maybe you should learn how to get along then. Now I have to get to work. Ugh, my goodness. Summer school. I don't think so. Not doing it. Ooh, I want to jump on my bed. Boing, 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 Molly, I'm telling on you. You better not. Come here. Oh, Daisy. Oh, you're the worst sister ever. Come here. Daisy. Daisy. Girls, that's it. You're both going to summer school. No. Mom, we'll be better. We promise. We promise. Oh, girls, last warning. Oh my goodness, the first day of summer. Why don't you girls go out in the pool? But the sun's not up yet. That's okay, just go outside. Okay! Come on, Daisy, I'll race you. You're already ahead of me, Molly. Wait a minute, Daisy! <laughs> Whoa, Daisy, we did wake up early. I do! Whee! Yeah! Okay, I'm gonna go down the slide. So early, I'm kind of feeling tired. I'm gonna go back inside. Sleeping? Don't don't you want to go to the park? Ah, so tired, Mom. So tired. 
Molly, maybe you shouldn't have woken up so early. Yeah, just give me a while, Mom. We can go to the park later. Ugh, oh, these girls. They woke us up at the crack of dawn, have been fighting all morning, and now they're taking a nap. Ay, ay, ay. Summer vacation for moms is so hard.